near mint condition, the home of collected oh, edition. That cover is so awesome. Absolute format is the best way to own this store. Time to empty those wallets and fill those shelves. What's going on, all you mentees? Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And join me today as we take a look at the DC solicitations for July of 2024. We're going to be looking at the Collected Editions. So let's go ahead and get started. And welcome back, everybody. What we're going to be looking at today are the... July of 2024 solicits for collected editions. So we're looking at omnibus editions, absolute editions, uh, webtoon graphic novel collections, deluxe hardcovers, hardcovers, and trade paperbacks. And I'm going to say, I haven't seen a solicit this big from DC. I, it's been about three or four years since we've had this many books. Um, so just get ready. As always, I like to remind people that there could be some delays. Hopefully no cancellations, knock on wood, but there could be some delays. Don't forget to smash that like button, please. That goes for uh, goes a long way for us here on the channel. It means the world to us, and it's something small you can do to help us out. All right, let's go ahead and start with This Land is Our Land, a Blue Beetle story by Julio Anta and Jacoby Salquedo. And this is $16.99. It is a digest size book, so it's a little smaller trim. 208 pages. And it is just outside of the DC continuity. So that is something to keep in mind when it comes to these type of books. But again, in a digest size version. Okay, now... Let's take a look at Batman the Joker Year One. So this is Batman Volume 3 by Chip Zdarsky, Giuseppe Camoncoli, Jorge Jimenez, Andre Sorrentino. Uh, but this is $29.99. It is a standard size hardcover, 232 pages, and collects Batman 139 to 144. And next up is Batman City of Madness. And that is a Christian Ward cover there, but yes, so this is collecting the uh, Christian Ward series that it's all written and the art is done by Christian Ward. $29.99, 168 pages. This is a standard size hardcover and collects all three issues of City of Madness. Next up is Titans Beast World. So this is by Tom Taylor, Ivan Reyes, Lucas Meyer, Travis G. Moore, and this collects Titans Beast World 1 through 6 and Titans 6 through 7. And this will set the stage for the next evolution of the DC Universe. Because rumors are we're going to have another crisis, if I'm not mistaken, sometime by end of year. But those are rumors again. Titans Beast World Tour is a companion to that trade paper. Or that, yeah, that was a trade paperback, sorry. And this one here contains Titans Beast World Waller Rising number 1. Beast World Tour Metropolis 1, Gotham 1, Central City 1, Atlantis 1, Star City 1, and stories from Nightwing 109 to 110 and Action Comics 1060. 312 pages, $29.99, and this one does have uh, writing in here by Joshua Williamson and Chuck Brown and, of course, Tom Taylor. And next up is Power Girl, Volume 1, Electric Dreams. This is the new series by Leah Williams with Marjorie Savage and Eduardo Pansica, David Baldeon. Collecting the first seven issues of this ongoing series. It is a soft cover for $19.99. The cover there is done by Gary Frank. Birds of Prey. I am so excited about this one. Surprisingly... They're not doing it as a hardcover, though. It is coming out in the softcover version. $19.99, 152 pages, collecting the first six issues of Birds of Prey by Kelly Thompson, but Leonardo Romero and R.S. Dane doing the artwork there. And on the cover, you have Black Canary, Big Barda, Cassandra Kane, Batgirl, I believe. I think that's Zealot from... I haven't read this, by the way. I know so many of my viewers have been telling me how great it is. Zealot from Wildcats and, of course, Harley Quinn. 
Batman Superman World's Finest Volume 4 Return to Kingdom Come. Mark Wade and Kingdom Come? Say no more. But you throw Dan Mora in there? Oh, I'm in. $24.99. It is a hardcover collecting World's Finest 20 through 24. Very excited for that book. And just seeing the iconic images of some of those characters from the Kingdom Come era. Just brings back so many memories. Plus, how in the world is Dan Mora that fast? By the way, this is going to be not just in hardcover, but in softcover on the same day. The hardcover is $24.99. The softcover is $17.99. Very interesting. Usually, they release the softcover about six months after the hardcover. Superman Action Comics Volume 2 to Hell and Back. Uh, continuing Philip Kennedy Johnson's era. Uh, Leah Williams and Dan Waters also writing some of the stories in here. Uh, but this collects Action Comics 1057 to 1059. Action Comics Presents Doomsday Special. Night Terrors Action Comics 1 and 2. 152 pages, $19.99. And it is a soft cover. Wesley Dodds, The Sandman by Robert Vendetti and Riley Rosmo. Collecting Wesley Dodds, The Sandman 1 through 6. And this is $16.99, 136 pages. It is a trade paperback. And not only are we getting Wesley Dodd's Sandman, so I mean, this is a classic Golden Age character, but we're also getting Jay Garrick, The Flash. This is by Jeremy Adams, and Diego Olortigui is the artist, with the cover there by Jorge Corona, who is the new artist on Transformers, with Daniel Warren Johnson writing the title. And this collects the six... Is, I don't know if it's a miniseries... Or if it's an ongoing, but it collects Jay Garrick, The Flash, 1 through 6. $16.99, 144 pages. Uh, then we're also getting Amazon's Attack. Not to be confused with the previous Amazon's Attacks uh, that happened in the early aughts, or the one before that in the, what was that, 90s or late 80s. Uh, but this is by Josie Campbell and Vasco Georgiev. Uh, the cover there is by Clayton Henry. This is a soft cover for $16.99. It collects Amazon's Attacks 1 through 6 and the prequel story from Wonder Woman number 2. Dylan Dog and Batman, or Batman Dylan Dog, collecting all three issues of the series. 208 pages, $19.99 by Roberto Recchioni and Gigi, or Gigi uh, Cavanago. Those are the main creators on this. And I can't remember who the license... Is Titan the license holder of Dylan Dog? I'm trying to remember who the license holder is. I didn't, I didn't think it was DC. Um, but then again, it could be different here in America. All-Star Batman by Scott Snyder, the deluxe edition coming out. Uh, this is a book that has not been released in a soft... Or no, it hasn't been released in a deluxe edition. It has been released in standard size trade paperback and... Two hardcovers, if I'm not mistaken. But this is the first time it's coming out in a big edition. So this is by not just Scott Snyder, but you have people in here like Rafael Abakurki, John Romita Jr., The Clan Chave, Jock, Tula Lote, Francesco Francavilla, just to name a few of the creators. $49.99, 584 pages, and it is a deluxe edition, meaning it's taller than the trade paperbacks. And this collects... All 14 issues of All-Star Batman. It's not in the same uh, universe as Frank Miller's All-Star Batman and Robin. I will say that, just in case. The Joker by James Tynion, the fourth compendium. So it's not just James Tynion, but also Matthew Rosenberg that's helping to write this story. Uh, it is The Joker 1 through 15, The Joker 2021 annual number one. The Batman Joker Warzone number one and Batman 100. And this is 488 pages, $59.99. And it is a compendium, so it is a soft cover. What isn't a soft cover is Superman, the Triangle Era Omnibus Volume 1, which we talked about when we looked at the catalog. But now it's officially solicited. Very slim chance it'll get canceled, but. Always knock on wood. Uh, 1,376 pages. $125. So collecting the Superman stories 49 through 63. Starman 28. Glad that's included in there. Adventures of Superman 472 to 486. 
Action Comics 659 to 673, and Superman the Man of Steel 1 through 8. Not to be confused with Man of Steel by John Byrne, the first six issue or the six issue miniseries that kicked off this post-crisis era of Superman. So if you're wondering where this fits into the reading order of Superman, if you just like hardcovers, uh, this comes after the Superman hardcovers, Man, the Man of Steel hardcovers, those four hardcovers uh, by John Byrne. Uh, he ends up leaving the book and then we get the Exile Omnibus, which is also being reprinted in 2024, this year. And then there's a little bit of stories that they could collect into another omnibus, including some of the things that they've missed in the past. I would love to see like the world of Krypton, the world of Metropolis, all that collected into an omnibus, even though that's during the John Byrne era. Uh, there's the whole Eradicator era. So all that, actually, the Eradicate. somebody told me, uh, somebody said, or suggested it when we were doing live stream, they should call it the, the Eradication era. That would be really cool. I dig that. But this particular book right here collects stories from time and time again in the Red Glass and Blackout and the Kryptonite story. Uh, it is one of my most wanted Omnis. There should be another volume and then we go to Death and Return of Superman. I don't think, I don't know, I, I really have no idea if, if they plan on rebranding the Death and Return of Superman to the Triangle Era Omnibus Volume 3, but that would be the Volume 3. Next up is Batman by Grant Morrison, book one. We've seen a lot of these thick books coming out from DC Comics. We've seen them in the past, like Green Lantern by Jeff Johns, which will also be reprinted. So this collects Batman 655 to 658, 663 to 675, and stories from 52, 30, and number 47. So you have Andy Kubert that kicks off this particular art, but you also have Tony S. Daniel doing some of the artwork. J.H. Williams III doing some of the artwork in here. And of course, all written by Grant Morrison, kicking off their run on Batman. All right, we got Elseworlds, and we knew that they were coming out in the catalog uh, pretty close, and <laughs> there's four of them here. So Elseworlds, Batman Volume 1, by the way, these are all phenomenal. This is the 2024 edition. These have been printed before. Uh, but you have Batman Holy Terror, Batman the Blue, the Gray, and the Bat, Robin 3000 1 and 2, Batman the Dark Joker, the Wild, Batman Houdini, the Devil's Workshop, Batman Castle of the Bat, Batman in Darkest Night, and Batman Dark Al uh, Allegiances. And this in here has stories from Alan Weiss, P. Craig Russell, Norm Brayfogel, Alan uh, Burnett, and... Byron Price, just to name a few of the creators. But we're not done with Elseworlds. Like I said, we got a total of four. We've got Elseworlds Superman Volume 1. And keep in mind that Batman was also a Volume 1. Uh, this one collects Superman Speeding Bullets, Superman Cow, Superman Distant Fire, Superman A Nation Divided, Superman Incorporated, and Superman War of the Worlds. 368 pages, $34.99. And the Batman book was also $34.99. Uh, J.M. DeMatteis is working on a lot of the stories in here. Howard Chaikin, Dave Gibbons, uh, Jose Luis Garcia Lopez, Gil Kane, Eduardo Barreto doing some of... As a matter of fact, Eduardo Barreto doing that cover. Then we're getting Elseworlds Justice League Volume 1. And this collects Elseworlds Finest 1 and 2, Elseworlds Finest Supergirl and Batgirl, the Justice Riders, League of Justice 1 and 2, Titan Scissor Paper Stone, and Wonder Woman Amazonia. So you have William Messer Loves, John Francis Moore, Karen Dwyer, J.H. Williams III, some of the creators in there, $34.99, 432 pages. And in about, I guess, a month later in September, because I'm putting the dates on there as well, is the Justice League Volume 2, the Elseworlds Volume 2, 2024 edition. So this collects Batman Nosferatu, Elseworlds, 80-page giant number one, JLA, Act of God, one through three. Superman Metropolis and Wonder Woman the Blue Amazon and 424 pages, $34.99. And this one has stories by uh, Aaron Lopresti and Daniel Curtis Johnson, Mark Wade, Ty Templeton, just to name a few of the creators. We Three, the 20th Anniversary Deluxe Edition. Man, do I love this story. It is a short, quick read. It's only three issues. Uh, this version has... 152 pages, $24.99. I want to say that 
that's the same page count but this time around there's going to be a direct market cover i think they only supplied us with the black and white version of it so there it is on my right your left however you're watching uh, but this has artwork by frank quitely and of course written by grant morrison and swamp thing yes by rick veitch book one wild things so it's also has stories in here by jamie delano but artwork by rich uh rick veitch and alfredo alcala collecting swamp thing 65 to 73 Annual number three, John Constantine, or Constantine, Hellblazer 4 and 5, and then a story from Secret Origins 23. Now, this already has, I think, a couple more issues than the previous trade paperback releases. So, I hope it has the unpublished issue, too, in the second collection. Batman 66 2024 edition. So, this is the Batman 66 Omnibus. Coming back out to print collecting batman 66 1 through 30 and batman 66 the lost episode number one so jeff parker jonathan case and mike alred and 928 pages 125 dollars batman incorporated the complete series so this is the stuff by ed brison and john timms uh this is batman incorporated 1 through 12 and the batman 2022 annual number one so all of it in a trade paperback, $29.99, 336 pages. Batman Superman, World's Finest, Volume 2, Strange Visitor. Now this is the soft cover only because we've had a hardcover of this previously released. This collects issues 6 through 11 of World's Finest. And it is by Dan Mora and Travis Moore doing some of the artwork in here. And again, the soft cover version. Batman the Arkham Saga Omnibus 2024 edition. This one has 1648 pages and retails for $150. And at one time it was the biggest omnibus. And then it got beat out by AVX, which you can't even see. I don't know why I'm pointing. Uh, but this collects Batman Arkham Asylum, The Road to Arkham, Arkham City 1 through 5, Arkham City Endgame 1, Arkham Knight 1 through 12, Arkham Knight Annual Number 1. Batman Arkham Knight, Batgirl and Harley Quinn number one, Arkham Knight Genesis one through six, Arkham Knight Robin special number one, Arkham Origins and Batman Arkham Unhinged. And coming out this September, $150. I, you know, I never got the first one and people have asked me what it's like. I've never read it. So it, it, it's one of those books I didn't get because... Just I played the first video game and I it's out of continuity, so that's why I didn't pick it up. But probably for the channel I will be. So man, that's gonna be a lot of reading for books I haven't read. Maybe I need to prep by reading some of that stuff digitally now. Batman Volume One: I Am Gotham, the 2024 edition. They are reprinting this in a trade paperback. We also know they're doing a book one. No omnibus yet of the Tom King era though. And collecting Batman Rebirth number one and Batman one through six. Also getting Batman volume two, the Batman of Gotham. Now, this is a different era of Batman. This is the Chip Zdarsky era, collecting Batman 131 to 136. So in the Rebirth era, if the Batman volume one, I am Gotham, is the beginning, Batman volume two, Batman of Gotham, is later on. But it's a trade paperback version because the hardcover version has already been released. I hope that is not as confusing as I just made it sound. I hope, I, I at least I hope so. Brave and the Bold Volume 1, Lords of Luck, 2024 edition. If you've not read this, damn, this is such a good series. Mark Wade, George Pettis just knocking it out of the park with this continuing story of Batman teaming up with different characters. And this collects the first six issues. I'm surprised they didn't do like a book one, like a bigger edition of this. 160 pages, $17.99. Deceased War of the Undead Gods is coming out in softcover format. Tom Taylor, Trevor Hairsign, Andy Lanning. And this collects DC's War of the Undead Gods 1 through 8. And Death, this is a surprise to me, Death at Death's Door 2024 edition. Uh, this is a cute death manga, is what it was dubbed before, but now it's part of the DC Black Label line. 
and Jill Thompson's drawing it, as well as writing the stories in here. $12.99, 208 pages, and it is a Tonkabon size, so the size of a manga. Flashpoint 2024 edition, it is the soft cover, $19.99. I could have sworn that they just reprinted that right before, no, they did, right before the Flash movie. Um, but this is a new edition, 1999, 176 pages, collecting Flashpoint 1 through 5. Green Lantern by Jeff Johns, book 1, the 2024 edition. So this collects Green Lantern Rebirth 1 through 6, Green Lantern Secret Files and Origins 2005 number 1, Green Lantern Core Recharge 1 through 5, and then Green Lantern 1 through 3. So the Jeff Johns era kicks off with that Rebirth, uh, teaming up with uh, Ethan Banskyver. But you have artwork in here also from Carlos Pacheco, Darwin Cook, Patrick Gleason. And then we're also getting, about a month later, a reprint, or a 2024 edition, sorry, of Green Lantern by Jeff Johns, book 2. And that collects Green Lantern 4 through 20. And that will have artwork by Simone Bianchi, but also Ivan Reyes taking over the book at that point. And Green Lantern Core by Peter Tomasi and Patrick Gleason, Omnibus Volume 2. So what this collects is Green Lantern Core 39 through 47, 59 through 60, Green Lantern Core's the new 52, 0 through 20, Green Lantern Emerald Warriors 1 through 13, Blackest Night number 8, Green Lantern 65 through 67, Green Lantern the new 52, 17 and 20, Green Lantern Core Annual number 1, and a story from Untold Tales of the Blackest Night number 1 in Green Lantern 80th Anniversary or 80th Anniversary 100 page super special, super spectacular number 1. 1,328 pages, $150, and I'm just going to go ahead and say what it's missing because I'm sure I'm going to be asking the comments is the Tony Bedard era of Green Lantern. Uh, the, what was it, the Alpha Lantern story. But it does include the Emerald Warrior storyline. Uh, Tony Bedard took over the run after Peter Tomasi ended up leaving and starting his own title. Uh, this is right after The Blackest Night, and it became the part of the Brightest Day rebranding of the book with uh, Tyler Kirkman on artwork. Really thought they were going to uh, put those in here though i remember when it was announced that i thought that i thought they were going to be in there maybe i misread that but regardless even with those missing issues this is amazing i cannot wait for this omnibus it's been among collectors and readers what at least in the top 10 of dc most wanted omnis for over a decade now joker killer smile is coming out in a trade paperback version jeff lemire andre sorrentino collecting joker killer smile one through three and batman the smile killer number one justice league the world's greatest superheroes by alex ross and paul dini the 2024 edition now it is coming out in an absolute edition reprint this month in april but this is the trade paperback version, 400 pages, $29.99, and it collects Peace on Earth, that's the Superman story, War on Crime, the Batman story, Shazam, Power of Hope, Wonder Woman, Spirit of Truth, JLA Secret Origins, and JLA Liberty and Justice. Nightwing Volume 4, The Leap, is coming out in a trade paperback version, the book is 192 pages and $16.99 and it collects Nightwing 97 to 100 and Nightwing 2022 annual and Wildcats the complete series is coming out from Matthew Rosenberg and Steven Segovia collecting Wildcats 1 through 12 and then stories from Wildstorm 30th anniversary special number one and Batman Urban Legends number six so this is the latest Wildcat series. $29.99, 320 pages. And last book for the month, or the July solicitations, Zatanna and the Ripper, Volume 4. It's one of the Webtoon series, collecting issues, or episodes 31 through 38. $14.99, 208 pages. Now, if you're interested in any of these books, and when they're available for pre-order, check out our sponsors. If you're in Europe and you're interested in buying these books, definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices, flat shipping rate of 12 euros for all EU countries. 
emails answer within 24 hours, waltzcomicshop.com, and you can use the code near mint condition at checkout and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order over 40 euros. That's Walt's Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ding! CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with a kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And those were the books in the July 2024 solicitations from DC Comics. Let me know in the comments down below what is the book you're most excited for, what other book you want to see in the solicits one day. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to smash that like button on the way out. Check us out on Patreon and Spreadshop. Amazing ways to support the channel. That's it, everybody. Stay healthy and safe out there. Much love. <laughs>